first on 44 tonight. The health department is working with the CDC to monitor Vermont residents returning from China. Now we're told they have no symptoms. This is precautionary. Local 44's Devin Bates spoke with Health Commissioner Mark Levine today, and Devin is live in the newsroom tonight with more. Well, Lauren, nine people are being monitored by the Department of Health right now, but Commissioner Levine said the risk for Vermonters remains low, but as the virus spreads in China, there's an ever-increasing abundance of caution here at home and around the nation. Like many states across the nation, Vermont isn't taking any chances when it comes to the coronavirus. Nine people are being monitored by the health department, but those being screened are at a low risk of developing illness and are generally able to go about their normal routines. This is really the fundamentals of public health. This is what public health is good at. We're aware of everyone. We're aware if they develop symptoms. We uh, have educated them appropriately about settings they should avoid and not be in. Uh, so that there's a very, very minimal risk to anyone in the population. The most recent numbers out of China show more than 13,000 additional cases, bringing the total number to more than 60,000 worldwide. 242 people died on Wednesday alone. In the U.S., a 15th case was reported on Thursday. We're going to know in the next days to weeks exactly how things are going to go, but clearly they have not been surging in the United States. And many of the other nations, actually, you know, have instituted the appropriate protocols. They're not seeing great surges in the number of cases. However, with the knowledge that they're not exactly turning off in China yet, uh, and that there's still plenty of disease there, we, we, we have to be very cautious. According to the Lamoille County News and Citizen, Stowe High School has canceled an upcoming trip to China. St. Michael's College found itself rearranging travel plans last month for a spring break trip to Taiwan. Professor Robert Litovsky explained the decision. The, the worst thing you can say to somebody who's worried is, don't worry. And so here you are about to send their kid to a place that's fairly close to the epicenter of this, that has had documented cases, and you're saying, don't worry, it'll be okay. I don't know, that's a tough sell. Now, Levine also had an important point to make in a statement. He said, it's people who get sick, not nationalities or ethnicities. Coronaviruses are circulating in every part of the world. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.